Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be creating the Fate of the Furious Dodge Demon SRT. This is Dom's silver Dodge Demon from the Fate of the Furious. So, to create this build, we are going to be using the brand new Hellfire, which was released today at the time of recording this video. So, it should be available to everybody by now. And this is one beautiful car. You know, and this is going to be the perfect vehicle to use for this build. Uh, so let's go on with that without any further ado. As you can see, I am currently inside LS Customs, inside of the Hellfire. So we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. So I don't really think this is going to make much difference because, um, <laughs> you know, the bumper... It, well, you can't really change it. It doesn't really change. It's just the split color that changes. Um, it goes from sort of like a black to a carbon black. And then you've got the, um, the color coded as well. Uh, but the one in the movie is black. So um, you don't really need to change it. So you stay stock for the front bumper. Same for the rear. The only other option is a wheelie bar. So we won't be using that. So we're going to stay stock for the rear bumper also. Go to, to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. The exhausts. We are going to go for... Something fucking meaty is what we're going to go for. And uh, I think the race exhaust is a good show. So we're going to go with the race exhaust. Then we've got the grill. So for the grill, uh, it's going to be a tough one again. Because the inside of it is... It's, it's like... I think it might be black. It's very similar to this. Um, but I suppose you could get away with doing the secondary open. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the black open um, just because I think just because I think it looks a little bit more like the one from the movie um, just because of the colour and it matches the, the splitter as well so yeah we'll go with black open grill then we've got headlight covers we won't be purchasing any of these because we don't need them <laughs> simple as that for the hood we are going to go with hopefully some sort of scooped hood um, because the one in the movie does have a scoop and I don't think we can get it, unfortunately. So we might just have to go with um, one of these vented, which is a shame because this, you know, it's a simple hood. It's a, it's a simple scooped hood uh, that's, that's um, attached to the one in the mo in the movie. And it's a real shame that Rockstar hasn't given us that option. Um, but I don't know, man. What's the difference? Ah, oh, it's a secondary color. Um, so I think I might go with the the vented the vented hood. Um, it's a shame, real shame we haven't got the one that we need. Man, I think what I'll do, I'll go with the the secondary color. Got to grab that. Uh, see how that goes because I'm hoping for the secondary color we can change that roof color. Uh, and the and the boot as well or the trunk anyway next we're going to go to the lights we're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights then we've got liveries I'm not sure if we if we'll need one of these I'm, we might do to be honest um, but it doesn't look like it's got anything that we that we could use so um, this might be a bit difficult we'll go quickly skip the panel we'll go to the respray and see what, what we can do with this and we're going to go matte for the secondary colour sweet so you can change the roof and the hood it's a real shame that we can't change the trunk color as well though that is a that is a big letdown um, but we are going to be going with matte gray for the secondary color uh, primary color we will be going classic because we want we don't want no pearls and shine on that matte color and uh, it's going to be a silver it's got to be a quite a light silver um, it might just be yeah I think the bluish silver is a little bit too light um, but the standard silver looks awesome, so we're going to go with that. So now we're going to skip back to the rear panel, which I didn't change, um, because I don't think we're going to need to, actually, because uh, there's nothing better than the stock version of it. Uh, see the carbon one and the secondary one. Oh, actually, the secondary one might be might be a winner. But then it, the secondary color looks darker than what's on the roof. How does that work out? Very odd. Uh, so in that case, we are just going to stay stock for the rear panel. And then we've got a roll cage. It being a Fast and the Furious movie, you've got to have a roll cage. Uh, but we're not going to go crazy. We're not. I, 
I don't think we're going to be having like bucket seats and I think we'll go stick with the standard seats. But do I want a roll cage? Oh man, I need to chill. I need to look this shit up. Hang on a sec. Bear with me. Please, Lord, help me to release this demon. <laughs> so looking back, the car from the movie does have a full roll cage. It doesn't have the ones with the pads and the roll cage in the movie is black and it doesn't have bucket seats. So the standard roll cage, this option, is gonna be perfect. So we're gonna grab that one. Then we've got the roof, I think we can just change it to a carbon variant, which we're not gonna do. Uh, we've got side skirts. We are gonna grab a side skirt, but it's gonna be the primary color. So next we've got the spoiler. We are gonna go with the secondary lip spoiler, or shall we? No, actually, again with the secondary lip, that looks darker than what's on the roof and the hood, and also from this insert as well. So I'm just gonna go with a plastic lip spoiler because it lightens up a little bit and it takes away that shine as well. I think that looks a little bit nicer. So yeah, plastic lip spoiler. And then suspension, we are gonna get the competition suspension just because it looks fucking sexy as fuck. When <laughs> it's slammed to the ground like that. Transmission, obviously we wanna get the race transmission and a turbo tuning. For the wheels, we are, actually the wheels we've got are really, really close to the ones we need except for uh, the ones we've got at the moment have that red trim around the around the edge of the, of the wheel and uh, that's got to go baby so um, we're going to go into muscle maybe <laughs> i think it is muscle and then we're going to go and find a few moments later so i originally thought we could find the wheels we needed in muscle but unfortunately it wasn't the case so i had another little look went into the tuna category and i found these stanced eg and they're pretty much bang on to what we need. So we're gonna grab those bad boys. And they've came up in black, but I think that's a little bit dark. So I'm gonna lighten up with carbon black. And then we will actually grab the bulletproof tires, whereas mine's already uh, applied, but you don't be wanting any flats. So uh, grab that up if you can. And then to finish off the build, as always, we're gonna go into the windows. And no, are we? Are we though? We're the, I don't think the windows were tinted. No, the windows was not tinted on this build. So we're not going to grab the light smoke window tint as usual. We're going to leave it at that. And as we pull out of LS Customs, you can see that this is the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. And it looks sexy as fuck. And it is um, playing a really, really good replica of the Dodge Demon. from Fate of the Furious. So good, man. So good. I think there's just one thing I'm going to quickly go in there and do. Um, just to make it that little bit sexier. And that is going back into the respray and secondary colour. And going from matte black to matte grey. Uh, even though that doesn't really look like a grey. It lightens up a lot nicer. And it matches more with the blackout grille. The splitter. And also the insert on the rear. And the spoiler as well. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go with matte grey for the secondary colour and we're going to go back onto the streets and that is the only change I think that needs to be made. Um, now you can see that's lightened up a little bit and it sort of like flows a lot nicer with all the other parts of the car. And man, it is so awesome that we can make vehicles like this in the game now. It's so awesome. The, the only downside to this build is that we can't get that scooped hood. Um, that is a shame, but other than that, everything. Else, oh, and also, sorry, we can't paint the trunk. If the, if the secondary colour went over the hood, over the roof, like it does, but then also over the trunk, it would be spot on. If we have that and a scooped hood, there'd be no complaints whatsoever. This would be the perfect build, in my opinion. But there's them two little minor um, things that don't really make this the perfect build, but it's darn close it is so close um to the dodge Demon. from fate of furious and i think it looks awesome man i love this hellfire i'm so glad that um rockstar have brought it into the game and there's so many builds that you can do with it so many i've already done letty's um dodged from fast seven the green one i think it's far, i'm pretty sure it's far seven i've already done the build for that on my channel a couple of weeks ago so if you would like to check that out go back a couple of weeks and check that that bad boy out because that looks awesome too and uh, there's a couple more from the um, fast and furious franchise that i can create with this um brand new hellfire so i'm really happy that rockstar have added this into the game and it's a long time coming the bravado gauntlet was an awesome car in the game but it was a little bit lackluster in certain um 
aspects. Obviously, its performance and its visuals wasn't great, but it was cool to have like a Dodge Charger Challenger, sorry, in the game. And um, but now we've got the Hellfire, and it is perfect. It is awesome. It looks really nice. It's super fast. Not great in the corners, but it does a job, and it's really really cool to drive. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Dom's Dodge Demon from Fate of the Furious. If you did enjoy, if, if you actually think I've done a good job, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until the next one, guys, I'm out. Adios. Demon! Thank you.